just such a fun, amazing, concentrated, exciting couple of weeks. I've never known uh, of any week with so many wonderful things packed into it. And I love the fact that it brings people from all over the world into Cortona. artistico del Tuscan Sun Festival qualche anno fa passeggiando per Cortona cosa hai scoperto? La prima cosa che scoprì attraversando la città di Cortona fu il teatro Signorelli la prima volta in cui ci entrai trovai due persone che stavano guardando un film e mi chiesi subito come mai questo posto meraviglioso potesse essere utilizzato solo come cinema anziché ospitare musica classica, eventi e amici come quelli che abbiamo ospitato quest'anno al festival. 25 anni, porto sempre con me la macchina fotografica, riprendo tutto ciò che mi ispira. Sul palco del teatro Signorelli con il suo stradivari Kreutzer ha affrontato con l'amico Barrett Wisman, direttore del Festival di Cortona, la sonata numero uno in fa minore di Prokofi. second year of the festival when we were still building this and he um, he has a place in Italy so do I we're both in love with Italy with medieval architecture and he was in awe of this place and, and he begged me to include um, this venue uh, for the Festival del Sole series and we hit it off and it's something to complements the castle we want to do everything we do is quality the wine so forth and I thought This would be a great event for the valley, for everybody, and for the council as well. Well, I mean, Barrett, without Barrett, this would not exist. I think Barrett is one of those people that have a talent. I think there really is a talent. It's like a chef in a restaurant. Some people are talented to create festivals and to make them work. First of all, to find the right place, which he did. Then to find the right people to make it work, the right sponsors, the right people, the right team. Um, just getting the entire thing together. That, and that's why people go to him and ask him to have other festivals. And uh, it, it's quite remarkable. And he just does all, he, he has those ideas. You know, I think it's the, the creativity uh, and his imagination. And he sees what's going to work, where it's going to work, why it's going to work, which artists should come and who should be together with it. He just has those fabulous ideas. And so and that's really, a, it's just a talent. So I've been friends with Barrett for a while and uh, he invited me in the first place and I fell in love with this, the area and uh, well the festival brings together three of my favorite things, music, wine and food so, so it's uh, always a blast and I try to make it every year. It's one of the few places I make a point of coming every summer. The success of any festival is really based upon 
a group of people, an audience, a group of artists, and everybody coming together in an intimate and warm atmosphere. You can't recreate that atmosphere that you bring when you bring together great artists, great audience, great supporters, and a great location like the Napa Valley. It's unique and all those ingredients together really make it what it is. Rene Fleming, the famous opera singer, she's a dear friend and she said, I've been invited to sing in a festival in Napa Valley. I say, oh my God, this is a big responsibility. I know a festival, if you ask Rene, you know, they really want her, it's very important because she will attract so many people. Barrett came for breakfast on a Sunday morning and when he told me who he was, the, the artist that he was planning to bring, and I told him, of course, about Rene, I said, please, let her know that you will be here. We need Rene because he, had, he was the one that he had talked to Rene because she's one of, of his artists. It is a combination of music, wine, and food. And you're putting the whole thing together into a package. And so you can enjoy the fruits of this valley, which are wine and food, and you can enjoy on top of that great classical and, and music, which is terribly important. Many places you go and it's the music, and there's nothing else. And unless you are an absolute devotee of music, you lose something. But this way, you can go to many of the concerts. I mean, last night up at the castle, People were sitting in there and they brought their glass of wine with them for the performance. They could sit and sip the wine and listen to the music. It relaxes you. It brings you back to basic enjoyment, which I think is being lost entirely too much in today's hectic world. I think in the world of, of our mass communication, our, our text messaging, everything, people are not getting back to where they can let their minds go and enjoy something. They're always on, 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 on. The brain needs to sit back and say, this is good. There are many things that are important in my life. One is wine, because we're surrounded with it. But probably far more importantly to me personally is music. I feel empty without music. Uh, when they came to us to say we're starting a festival, so really the hook for us was the Russian National Orchestra. Uh, they were going to be playing uh, the first year here in the festival. So the very short answer, it combines certain things in my life, that is music and wine in one place in Napa that is truly, um, I, I think maybe a madman or a genius would have had to come up with this idea and to bring them together. And if we can help it, fabulous. I think Napa is wonderful because you can combine wonderful views wonderful pastoral scenes, great music, great wine, great food, and, and it's really all of those things together that make for a unique experience here. Festival, uno dei più belli e prestigiosi in Europa che ha riunito negli anni l'elite della musica mondiale e grandi star del cinema. Dall'11 al 18 giugno la rassegna sbarca a Firenze a coronamento di nove anni di successi nella sua sede originaria di Cortona. 
e lo scenario sofisticato di una location internazionale per definizione grazie al contributo dell'ente Cassa di Risposta. Vedrà sul palco della pergola artisti come il flautista James Galloway, il mezzo soprano Susan Graham, il violinista Nigel Kennedy, la violoncellista Nina Kotova, tanto per citarne alcuni, una delle date più attese, il recital del soprano Angela Georgio, il 12 giugno nel nuovo teatro. Secondo una scelta del Tuscan Sound Festival, che negli ultimi anni ha rivelato nuovi approcci alla scena da parte di artisti celebri e pure inediti rispetto a repertori non usuali, quest'anno sarà John Malkovich a mettere in scena tre spettacoli di voci recitanti, musica e video in una affascinante commistione di teatro. Thank you.